welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I am a rising second year PhD student in history and African American studies at Yale. And this weekend, I'm taking you along for a little day in my life. Today is Sunday, and I have a very special visitor coming today. She's on the plane right now, and you will get to see who it is in just a couple minutes. So I got up early this morning. Her plane arrives at like 8.45 or so. So I'm gonna go ahead, take move for a walk and then grab the car and head over to Hartford. So that is the plan for the morning. And then I have to get back and get on a meeting call. So let's go ahead and go to the airport. And we've had a nice, slow, relaxing morning. Slept in a little bit, got up, had a cup of coffee, I had a cup of tea, we watched some Bridgerton, Chloe fell asleep, I went and took a nap, did an Instagram live for Accepted, and now we are gonna go ahead and head over to Atticus, do a little bit of book perusing, grab a cup of coffee, and then just hang out for the rest of the day. We're just gonna kinda take it easy. I have a bunch of admin work that I need to get done, but we will figure that out later. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna take you along for this week. Chloe is here until Thursday morning, so we're gonna have lots of fun and plenty of shenanigans to get up to. We're also planning on doing like a truth or drink type of video later on and then potentially doing like a story time on Chloe's channel. So yeah. keep an eye out. I'll have all the links to all those types of videos down below and you guys can enjoy. And I have plenty of wine for us to drink through. So we'll make good use of it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and head over to Atticus and take you all along with us. All right, quick outfit check. I've got my favorite Everlane long sleeve blouse. You guys have watched my videos, then you know that I just love Everlane. My affiliate link is down below. And if you guys ever wanna check it out, please do, because it definitely helps me out. And also means that I can continue getting Everlane clothing. <laughs> and then I have my Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, which are like ankle skinny jeans, even though they're meant to be length but you know being six feet tall this is the height difference between me and my best friend <laughs> and we're accidentally dressed like with like awkward family photos um old navy old navy uh rifle paper co kids mom's vintage purse Anna Luisa earrings that Kaylin has the same hair on also Anna Luisa link in the description box by the way <laughs> And then I have my Teddy Blake bag. I love this bag. And then I have on my Sperry, are these Sperry? No, these are Cole Haan sneakers. And now we're gonna head over to the bookshop and do some perusing. <laughs> ago and it is a new release it is jennifer morgan's reckoning with slavery she wrote this article called part of sequitur ventrum which was like the impetus for 
my research for my dissertation. So very excited about this book. It's gonna be very theory heavy. So this is what I'm going to be starting on for my comprehensive exams as well as for my dissertation. But I got contacted by this brand, it's called Merit. And they asked if they could send me some makeup, which I'm really excited about. Also, they offered to give you guys a discount code. So that information is going to be in the description box, but I need to find a way to open this. So this is a small makeup brand and they offered to send me their kit. Oh my gosh, How this cute. packaging is so incredible. Cute. So it's got this little info card on it and it says Merit was created to reimagine luxury makeup by making it well edited, holistic and accessible. And it's got this adorable so little satchel. Their packaging is so pretty. I love this color of blue. And they sent me so much stuff. Okay. So first of all, they sent me the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. And I got it in two different colors because I'm gonna use one as like a contouring stick. This one I'm gonna use as my contouring stick because that is obviously not my complexion. <laughs> And this is the one that is meant to be my shade. So let's give it a shot. There we go. That one's really pretty. Also their packaging is beautiful. It's really nice. Very minimalistic. And then this is their blending brush. Never have enough brushes. Okay, this is so cute. Perfect blending brush. It's very soft. Then I, they sent me the Flush Balm, and this is in the color Beverly Hills, which was like the peachy tone that it said on the website. So as you can see, little Flush Balm. That is so cute. Now that you wear blush, Caitlin used to not really wear blush, and I told her she needed to, because <laughs> she needed to have some color on her face. And then we've got the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. Oh my gosh, this packaging <gasps> is, so cute. is so pretty. It's really nice. And then here's the brush for it. I'm interested to try the mascara, because I am super picky when it comes to mascara, because I typically use the same products and have for the last couple of years, but I'm always down to try something new. Next is the Brow Palmade. It's got this beautiful gold packaging and it's got your typical little spoolie. And I got that in the blonde shade because my eyebrows are quite light. And then we've got the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. And this is in the color All Natural. Oh, my oh gosh. that's so pretty. Okay, that is a very I nice look. Like like peachy color. I'm gonna try it. I like never wear lip color. I'm pretty sure that's obvious. That's nice. Even the Oprah. I like it because it's it's very sheer. So thank you to Merit for sending that over. So but make sure to check them out in the link below. There's also a discount code for you all so make sure to give them a look. Thank you to their team for contacting me and for sending those over. And now we're gonna do our little book haul. Do you want to go ahead and do yours first? So I picked up the Great Mistake um, by Jonathan Lee, and it's a mystery that takes at, that takes place in the 1930s in New York, and it takes place in the Natural History Museum and the Met, and it's right, right up my alley. alley. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's about like a man that's murdered and all the entanglements of that. And so I think this may be my plain read because yeah, I think I may whisk through this because I love mysteries so much and anything to do with New York and like before the 50s and museums. Yeah, so I picked that up. And then no surprise here, since my degree is in Egyptology, I picked up A World Beneath the Sands, The Golden Age of Egyptology by Toby, Toby Wilkinson. The cover is so that is really pretty. pretty. And this is a, I think popular history book on the history of Egyptology and the colonization of Egypt by America, France, and Germany. And I'm really interested in like the origins of the field itself. So I'm interested to check this out and oh, it has some nice pictures in it too. So there's Napoleon. He kind of is the start of the, the field of Egyptology. So that's what I picked up. What did right. you get? So I got two books. One was a recommendation from Chloe. This is While so Justice Sleeps by Stacey Abrams. The Stacey Abrams. 
yes. Ayan, do you want to tell them a little bit about the plot? So the plot is essentially that one of the Supreme Court justices, he ends up in a coma and he makes his law clerk um, his power of attorney. And there's espionage and you find out that somebody's trying to kill him and he's wrapped up in some scandal that's behind one of the major cases that was about to be um, ruled on by the court. And so it's this look at the law clerk kind of unraveling this mystery. And it's so fun. And I mean, Stacey Abrams is incredible. It was a really fun read. I, I finished it last week and told Kaylin immediately that she had to read it. Yeah, so very much up my alley. And then the second one that I got is Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. She wrote a various, she's written various books, fiction books on the court of Henry VIII. And this is the one as his divorce with Catherine of Aragon is occurring. And the new one that she came out with is specifically about the kind of aftermath of the beheading of Anne Boleyn. And while this is not my area of history, it is a fascination as I'm sure it is for many. So I wanted to pick it up and give it a look. One of the first like historical fictions I ever read was The Other Bolin Girl. So, all right, my camera's about to die and I need to go ahead and charge it. And Chloe and I are gonna hang out and figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. But I just wanted to show you what I got in the mail and we'll check in in a little while. No offense to radio girls, but like there's a type, right? Good morning friends, happy Tuesday. I got up this morning with Miss Landis and I went ahead and put on that makeup that I got from Merit and I love it. It is like the perfect, just quick five minute do up. And I really like the complexion stick because I typically wear like a medium coverage foundation, in which case I have to powder the heck out of it in order for it to actually like matte down. But it actually feels really nice. And I used only the stuff that they gave me. So and like only the brush that they gave me also. I really like this look and it's very good, quick, simple. And we are gonna go to Maison Matisse this morning and get a waffle. Take little Miss Moon Nugget for a walk. And then I have a bunch of meetings today. I have two new clients uh, that I'm working with this morning. And then I have the accountability workshop. So it'll be a busy day. I have a lot of work I need to get done. So be doing so we'll be doing that and then tomorrow will be more of a content day because I don't have anything planned on my calendar so that is the plan as of right now and I will check in with you all a little later on yesterday because it was a big admin day. I had a ton of clients and meetings and we just ended up hanging out pretty much at home all day and then ended up watching Bridgerton last night. And now we are up bright and early. Well, not so early. It's like 10 a.m. <laughs> to go shoot some content. We're going to go grab coffee at Atticus again and then head on to campus and try to shoot as much content as possible. It is so nice having a friend here that can help me shoot. So we're going to go shoot some videos and photos and things. So catch up with you guys on campus. <music> overcast today and it is not it is very bright which means lots of shadows and things which does not make for optimum lighting for a photo shoot so we are going to go home 
and shoot some content there and then reconvene near sunset when the light's a little less harsh. All right, many hours later, we have watched Bridgerton, we have hung out, we went and got some lunch, and now we are gonna quickly film a video before trying to go back out and shoot some content again when the light's a little bit better. It already seems a little less harsh, but we're waiting until the sun is a little bit lower in the sky, but we're gonna film a little story time for Miss Chloe Landis's channel. So go ahead and check it out in the links down below, but we're gonna go ahead and film because we're gonna post that at the same time that I post our truth or drink video. Landis's last night in New Haven. She is heading out early tomorrow morning. I'll be driving her to the airport at O Dark Hundred, she's and a <laughs> and she'll be back in August for more shenanigans. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I got to take you all around a little bit more of campus and show you a little bit more of what my life is like when I'm not just doing work and we shot some really great photos around campus, which I'm really excited to post on Instagram. And if you wanna check them out, be sure to follow me over there. All of Chloe's links will be down in the description box below. So go ahead and give her a subscribe and a follow, and she will be back in August. As I said, we're gonna plan a little trip to New York together, which will be really fun, and I'll be taking you all along for that as well. So, stick around if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe and i will see you all in the next vlog bye everyone bye